All right, hello everyone. Welcome to this week's session of T and D. I am Emily, and as always, I will be your dungeon master for the evening. I will also be playing the role of Nyx, the party's tiefling, tiefling mythical beast. And um, I'm going to do a very brief recap at the end of this, but it was all combat. So we're going to quickly do introductions, and then we'll get right back into it. That's what I am. Good start. <laughs> I'm next. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Liz, and I play the half elf wizard, Marin Marlius. This is going really well. This is going really well. <laughs> Hey guys, it's your boy Detroit, and I'm playing a... <laughs> Peter Longbottom, your halfling bard. <laughs> Look, I deserve this abuse. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, to briefly recap what happened last session, it wasn't a lot because it was mostly combat, but the party uh, began fight their final fight final question mark fight with the Coven of Hags that has been revealed as the proprietors of this circus. Uh, they killed one, and then it came back to life. Uh, let's see. They took a pretty copious amount of damage. And <laughs> that, I love you, but whatever you're fiddling with, <laughs> do it a little bit further away from your microphone. <laughs> I'm my feelings. I just opened a pack of Oreos. You won't hear anything else. <laughs> okay. Um, and we're back at the top of the order for this. Uh, in co accompanying the Coven of Hags is Cecilia, the young girl that they encountered at basically the beginning of this arc. And things are not looking good for their friend Gundy. <laughs> so... Let's get back into it, shall we? Let me quickly. I don't know. Start Gumby's, looking, <laughs> Gumby's looking like a snack right now, so. I'm sorry. Oh no. Um, we know what Stop. Peter's Stop. into. Stop. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> Stop. Where are your parents? Oh my god. Uh, so. Um, we are at the top of the order. The last thing that the party witnessed was the the hag that had been knocked down, knocked unconscious, and then revived, um, just made her way to the center of the arena again, where she kind of seemed to reach up into the cloud of dark energy that's being funneled into the tent. And as she did so, you guys watched the wounds on her body start to slowly heal. And she turns back at you with a wicked smile, ready for what you have to bring. So, it's Marin's turn. Marin, you're muted. Oh, there you I go. Know. Um, <laughs> oh, God. We are going to Where are the hags in relation to each other? So right now the layout is there is one hag in the very center. She's standing next to a cauldron. In front of her, like literally about a foot in front of her, like they're sitting directly in front of the cauldron, is Cecilia over Gunby's body and directly to Cecilia's right, or as you're looking at her, it's to your left, um, is one of the grayer hags. Not, it's one of the larger hags. Uh, the small one is the one that is currently at the cauldron. So we have the smaller one at the cauldron, Cecilia right in front of the cauldron, directly to Cecilia's right, or your left, is one of the larger hags, and then the last hag... I believe is standing directly next to Nyx. 
So they're about, Nyx is about 10 feet in front of the center, so about 5 feet away from the, the edge of the arena where the party's kind of gathered. And when I say arena, I mean platform in the middle of the arena. There's still plenty of arena around you guys. Yeah, okay, so... Is there any way that I can get them in another 5 by 100 foot line? Um, I, yeah, certainly I don't think the, the hag that was next to... Again, disregarding anybody. Yeah. Um, definitely the two hags and Cecilia who are in the middle. Uh, actually, I just remembered that Cecilia left the middle to stab Nyx in the side, so she's still kind of standing in that line of fire, but she's next to Nyx. Um, and... Let me look at my notes real quick. Nat, do you remember, is... Is there a hag currently next to Jez? Um, no. I believe the... Yeah, but there, um, I think, I think there is a hag directly next to you. It's the hag that came over to, to revive the smaller hag. Yes. And then got pissed when that failed and threw the hag behind her. Yeah. So yeah, it's standing right next to Jez. So yes, they're all pretty much in a line because actually Marin where you're currently standing remember you moved from one side of the platform to the other so yeah. you're you're to be Peter, Peter's right so what it looks like right now is uh gathered on this side of the platform where you are there's the trap door directly next to the trap door is Jez then it's Peter then it's you and then in front of all of you is Nix who is not hurting as bad as he was but is still kind of in in a defensive stance in front of the rest of the party. So the people who would be in your line of fire if you moved around to where Jez is would be all of the the enemies, Cecilia, Jezebel, and Nyx. Okay. So can I... I guess can I move then? Yeah, go for it. You'd have to hop off the platform where you were before the last time you cast the spell and be kind of positioned behind Jez. That's completely okay. Yep. Um, then how- it's Jez, Nyx, and Cecilia that are s still in that line? Yeah, because Cecilia's standing right next to Nyx, and Nyx mm -hmm. is standing kind of in front of Jez, but is ten feet ahead of Jez. Okay, then that's still fine. Okay. Um... Marin throws his hand up again, um, and casts Lightning Bolt. Okay. Uh, and the electricity just weaves around those three and hits the hags. Make an intelligence saving throw. An intelligence saving throw? Yeah. Okay. Thirteen. Okay. Uh, they have to make dex saves. Okay. I'll do that. Uh, the first one. Uh, rolled... that's a 11. No. Okay. The next one. <laughs> Does even worse. That is a... <laughs> that's an 8. Okay. I shouldn't have even taken that long to calculate that. Um, the last one got a 15? Nope. Okay, so they all fail. Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, so let me real quick. And let me uh, just be clear. Are you still avoiding uh, Cecilia? Yes. Okay. So then that's all their saving throws. Um, I'm gonna... How does Nyx look, actually? Nyx is currently at 13 hit points. Um, he's looking yeah. a little rough. Um, uh -oh. I'm still not hitting a Cecilia, though. Because I will obliterate her with this spell. Okay. That's what we say. Hold on, let me just uh, roll this 1d6 hate times. <laughs> oh, dear lord. Oh, boy. Oh, god. Oh, god, a lot, or oh, god? Oh, god, a lot. Badly. Okay. <laughs> Well, while Wiz calculates damage, how is everybody feeling in this battle? <laughs> well, health wise? No, just, just, just like emotional wise, just like thought process wise. <laughs> you know what? I'm tired of um, people attacking me. Uh, yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> You're tired. <laughs> I'm just tired. I'm tired. So You're just gonna lay down and take a nap. This D6 really likes me, apparently. Yeah. Um, that's gonna be 37 points of damage. 37? Yep. Alrighty. Uh, let me just double check something, cause I... I can't, cause I can't do math. <laughs> Um, okay, so you watch as the hag next to Cecilia, so what is this spell? It's, is it lightning, or is it, what kind of damage does it do? Wiz? Um, it does lightning. Okay. Lightning damage. Uh, so you send forward this beam of lightning the second time you've done it this round um this fight and you watch as the the hag on the left holds up her staff almost to like as if she's going to move to defend herself and the lightning strikes her and you watch as she kind of collapses inwards on herself and uh crumples to the ground The smaller hag in the middle howls with pain, but with her freshly healed wounds, she, you just basically watch these wounds open right back up, but she's still standing. Oh. Jesus. <laughs> just make a strength saving throw. <laughs> Talk. That doesn't mean you can target me, though. Or can make I just jump. You can make a deck saving throw. Jump out of the way. Yeah, make a deck saving throw. Uh, I'm not bullying you, Nat. <laughs> uh, this is homophobia, Emily. <laughs> I saw that uh, 21. Uh, okay, so Jen, oh, no. you. <laughs> You watch as the hag in front of you kind of, like, lunges forward, and, uh, you watch almost the light fade from their eyes as it 
collapses towards you. You jump backwards off the platform next to Marin. Uh -huh. uh, and just barely get out of the way of this hag's body crumpling down towards you. It is now. Uh, Marin's just gonna heave and then just stay in place. Please. So that one's dead? It fell yep. so... Oh, okay, yep. cool. So we only have so how many left? Two... One. Oh, one. One, sweet. Um, Amazing. Marin, as you cast that spell, you feel kind of almost like an ache. And it starts in your chest. And then you slowly feel it as you cast the spell and the lightning leaves your fingers. You feel it sort of spread to your arms. And it it's almost painful for you to cast this spell. And it leaves you feeling a bit dazed. It's not so much that it's fully affecting you, but you definitely have never experienced that kind of feeling when casting a spell before. Okay. Uh, and in that case, Marin's... I'm right up against the edge, kind of? Yeah. The platform? Alright, then Marin's gonna kind of lean against it, just a little bit. Okay. And take a breath. It is Jez's turn. It's my turn. Okay. There's one more left. Uh, Cecilia is still by Mix, yeah? Yep. How far is that from where I now am off the platform next to Marin, who is having a hard time breathing? <laughs> um, about ten feet in front of you. You'd have to climb back on the platform, but uh, that wouldn't be a difficult task. It wouldn't cost any of your movement to climb back up. Yeah, um, I'm going for that small child with the knife. <laughs> okay. When will you learn? <laughs> when will you learn? <laughs> What do you have there? <laughs> a knife! <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, when I get up there, though, can I... Uh... I just want what I, at whatever's around her neck. And I'm gonna yank on that real hard. Um... Okay. As you make your way towards Cecilia, who's kind of, um, make an insight check. <clears throat> Can I decide? Oh, thank God for modifiers. Uh, 12? Okay. Um... It's difficult to kind of make out because she's she's moving a little bit frantically now. Her eyes are kind of darting all around. She doesn't seem to quite know who her intended target is. But you notice that as she kind of moves in these jerky fashions, mm -hmm. it almost seems as if her the hand that's not clutching the dagger in her hand... Well, it's a short sword, technically. Um... The hand that's not clutching the sword seems to keep coming up to her ear. And she seems to kind of um, turn her head and hold her hand up to her ear every once in a while before she uh, looks around again. This is the one that she had that, the, whatever the, um, the thing that the hag gave her? I'm, I'm sorry, what was... What exactly was the question? Th this is the hand that has whatever the hag gave her before she no, stabbed Nyx? This is, no, the the thing that the hag gave her was the the blade that is also um, dealing poison damage to Nyx right now. Well dang, I thought uh, she just had that. Okay. No, she she was feasting on Gunby before, um, well, before she stood up to join the fight. I mean, she um, was feasting and still armed. <laughs> <laughs> No, she she was using both hands to clutch one of Gunby's organs. Um, this is the free hand. It it has nothing in it. She just seems to like. It's almost like how 
people who are on like social security not social security my god secret service Uh um will put their hand up to their ear to talk in their little earpiece it's like that kind of motion where she just keeps like putting her hand up to her ear and then her her like she kind of turns towards it and then her uh eyes kind of snap back to the field but you can't hear anything you can't make anything out it doesn't you can't really understand why she's doing this Mm -hmm. uh she just seems to be repeating that motion in fairly regular intervals uh you go to approach her Hmm? are we talking like 30 second intervals or it's it's almost like every time someone does something like every time one of your team makes an attack yeah. She seems to make that motion. Okay. Uh, you try to make your way towards her, but before you quite reach her, about, we'll say, halfway towards, walking towards her, you're intercepted by Thana. Ah, that's right. She's here. <laughs> she is. Why is she uh, stopping me this time? <laughs> You sound so annoyed. (laughs) She stops you and you're expecting it to be Thana because obviously this is a ghost. Um, It's not like she resembles anyone else on the field or so you thought, but as you kind of Focus your attention away from Cecilia onto Thena. Yeah. You're taken aback for a moment as it almost seems like as Thena approaches you, the image of Cecilia standing behind her seems to kind of line up with her. Mm-hmm. And you're currently staring into the face of a spectral form of Cecilia. So they're either twins, or Theta has been astrally projected. (laughs) Good to know. Or I guess it'd be Cecilia who's astrally projected on it. I don't know. Does she say anything to you? Yes, she stops you and she kind of looks up at you and her expression is almost like (sighs) it's hard to describe it's almost a a look of confusion mixed with sorrow and fear all at the same time she doesn't seem to be panicking like Cecilia was when she was kind of called into this battle from her facing. Uh, it's more solemn. Okay. And she looks up at you and kind of puts out her hands beside her to stop you and she goes, Please, don't, don't hurt her. Um, Jez offers, uh, offers, I don't want to say calculating, because I feel like that generally has a a negative connotation, but um, studies her for a second. And uh, I think. And uh, just kind of shrugs, I guess. And is like, that wasn't my intention. She still has you. She kind of makes a furrowed, she furrows her brow and 
looks at you almost curiously and is like, what, what are you going to do with her? I intend to disarm her and just, if I promise not to hurt her, will you let me continue what I was doing? Yes. Uh, and just steps around her and continues to, uh, Cecilia. Uh, okay, uh, what are you... Cecilia looks up at you, but doesn't quite... She makes the motion, uh -huh. and then looks up at you, uh, and extends the sword towards your direction. Her her posture very defensive and almost tensing to attack mm. Jen's never met Cecilia actually right I know it's like a not formally uh, the only other time that I believe Jez has seen Cecilia in person is when they watched her take Gumby. Okay. I just wanted to make sure, because I was trying to remember when... She's a good girl. <laughs> anyway, Guess um... where's my cute dog, too? <laughs> Reminds me, where's that dog? Oh. Um... <laughs> kind of slows, I guess. Um, ju just slows. But is still like moving forward, um, has their staff out in kind of a defensive measure if she takes a swing at them. Mm -hmm. uh, we are not here to hurt you, Cecilia. And she's she's not deaf, right? She's just blind. She's just blind. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Tells her to put down this, just put down this sword, and this will all be over. As you say this, you watch again. This time, <clears throat> much more recent than the the last. She puts her hand up to her ear, and then almost flinches and covers her ear for a second, and then looks back up at you and like, uh, is. While, okay, I need to make, I need to make sure that this is something I can do, because while we are in a, an initiative order, mm -hmm. she is going to try to defend herself. So I, I think it's, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, I've. I'm always kind of uh, iffy on this when it comes to combat rules, but she should be able to, like, make an attack if, if she's having a character interaction. Um, Do you mean, like, preparing? Technically, you can only get a couple words out in... That's true, it's six seconds. It's a round is six seconds. A whole round. Yeah. Meaning everyone going in six seconds. That's true. Um, the only way she can do something is if she has a specific reaction. Otherwise, the only way she That's can true. take it an attack of opportunity is if Jez gets into and then leaves her attack radius. Okay. But as well, long then... as Jez doesn't leave the attack radius, it doesn't matter if Jez walks into it. Okay, well then, um, she's not going to make an attack, but she's going to brace her. She's not going to put the sword down. She's going to continue holding it up as a uh, means of defense. Okay. Um. I don't... Yeah, I... 
trying to figure out how to word this. Like, you know how if you, you can have, uh, Jess has her staff in the hand of whatever side she has her sword on, because that's going to be wherever that's going to come from. Yeah. And, um, like, leans down and takes, just like grabs the, the necklace, or I guess whatever the thing was on her neck. Okay. And I guess first questions first, what exactly is it? <laughs> um... <laughs> One second. <clears throat> I need to see. <laughs> okay, sorry. I need you to make a sorry I'm making sure that this is the correct saving throw I need, I'm sorry, it's, <laughs> the thing that I have set up is a bit confusing. Okay, I'm correct. Um, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. And anyone, uh, I think Marin Nix. I think Marin and Nyx also have to make dexterity saving throws. Uh, okay. As you touch this necklace and you hear almost a chime noise and a um, glowing symbol appears on the surface of the object and a bolt of lightning shoots out from it. Nice. Okay. You said a dex save? Yeah. Okay, that's a 20. Did you also say Peter or no? No, not Peter. Peter's uh, good because he's standing a little off to the side. Yeehaw. But Marin is technically uh, where he was next to Jez in the back. And this is going to shoot 100 feet towards Jez and behind Jez in a straight line. Uh, that it's five feet wide, so... Fifteen. Okay. Um... Uh... I get my... Ooh, wait. I don't know if you get to save. Oh, okay. I understand. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Glyphs are a tricky game. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let me double check. You have 15, Wiz? And Jez yeah. had a 20. So... Uh, 
And Nick's got a plus his dex. Oh, good, he has proficiency in dex, which means that's a plus six. <laughs> so, that's a 19. Uh, Jez, you instinctually withdraw from this and manage in the short span of time that it happens to yell out a word of warning and Marin and Nyx, you see this bolt of lightning shooting uh, from where Jez has just yelled and you dive out of the way, but as it was so unexpected, it kind of crackles off and while you're not hit with the main bolt, it still manages to catch you uh, and graze past you. Let me roll some dice because... Yeah, okay. So... Ooh. You all take... 13 points of lightning damage. Nice. <clears throat> 13? Yeah. Okay. It's all good. We're all good. Everything's fine. <sighs> Peter just often just sees everyone get struck by lightning. Yep. Guess who's now uh, for Marin? Marin Jez is unable to take the necklace off of Cecilia's neck, and Ooh. it is Peter's turn. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Um. Can I? Uh. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Can I move so that the the remaining hag? is within a 10 foot radius of me but not but no one else is as well in the radius of me if that makes sense just me and uh just the green hag in this 10 foot radius of me so when you say radius of you is it like a is it like surrounding you or is it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's surrounding me uh so like i don't want to yeah like I'm yeah think... yeah you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah, I, I know what you're saying. I'm trying to think. Because the hag that you're aiming for is in the center. And, um... Unfortunately, I think... I mean, if I have to get her to, like, be also, like, right next to me, too, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I, I, I know yeah. what you're saying. I, I unfortunately think that uh, Nick, Cecilia, and now Jez are about five feet away from this hag. Uh, actually, they'd be 10 feet away from this hag, but you said they need to be further than 10 feet, right? Yeah. Uh, unless, I, like... Hmm. Unless you can somehow, like, move this hag out of range, the hag is gonna be advancing towards where Cecilia, Jez, and Nyx are. So, nice. like, um... They're, they're all gonna be within a 10-foot range, and the only thing that's gonna change is that the hag is gonna get closer to them. Okay. Uh, oh, God. Mm. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. Uh, eh. uh. uh. Okay. How about this? I will use, um, I will cast Dissonant Whispers, then, on the green okay. hag. Um, okay. So, must make a wisdom saving throw. Alrighty. Let's see how this hag's wisdom... Oh, actually, uh, could I position myself to be... Um, or are they, are, is everyone else, um, uh, I guess, like, surrounding her, or, like, explicitly just, like, on kind of, like, one side? Like, I basically want to get between them and her, and the hag. Um, so... She's at the dead center. There right. is 15 feet of space behind her, where oh. there's nobody. 
Um, and then in front of her is Gunby's body, and then ten feet away from her are Jez, Nyx, and Cecilia. Uh, and then Marin's like way back. He's off the platform behind you guys. Okay. Um. All right. Well, uh, that's we're, I'm getting into too much. Of this, so uh, I'll, I'll, I'll count. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, you're fine. You're fine. I just have to uh... mentally image it. Yeah. Yeah, like, uh, what kind of saving throw is it? Wisdom. Okay. <sighs> is it? Uh. <laughs> God damn it! Please don't the, tell me. I'm sorry. The hag, the hag got a nat twenty <laughs> on that wisdom <laughs> saving throw. Uh. Okay. Well, that's plus their modifiers uh, like a uh, twenty-three. That, that's fine. On a successful save, the target takes half as much damage and doesn't move. That's oh, fine. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, I will, however, um, it is a first level uh, spell, but I will instead expend a um, expend a fourth level spell slot, which means uh, so it's originally three d six, but uh, the damage increases by one d six for each spell above it, so six d six. Okay. okay. Uh, a lot of rolling of d sixes today. <laughs> yeah. Here, you know, what, I'll just put in the fucking. <laughs> just to make it simpler. Um, yeah, if you're able to do that real quick for you. Yeah. It'd be really great if it failed it, but <laughs> 27 divided I'm by 2. I'm sorry. That's so fine. that is going to be uh, 14 points of damage. Mm -hmm. That's psychic damage. So 14 okay. points of damage. Uh, so that's my regular action. Um, who Who is most hurt right now? Uh, of your teammates? Yes. Nyx has 13. I don't know what about the other part members. Um, Marin has 7. Oh Jesus! So okay. Staying ranged. Um, did do we know already if Nyx uh, used up the remaining of their spell of uh, healing abilities? Yeah. Yeah, Nyx okay. told Nyx you guys explicitly yeah, that that yeah. was the last time he could do that. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Okay, <laughs> I just wanted to yeah. double check that. No, you're uh, good. Is Marin Marin's within sixty feet of me, right? Yeah, Marin is five feet behind you. All right. Well, I as my bonus action, I'll uh, look up at Mara and cast Healing Word. Um, I will use a um, yeah. I'll use a fourth level spell slot again for that. So um, that'll be four d four of health back, or four d four plus my spellcasting modifier. So four d four. God damn it. Seven plus uh, five, so 12 hit points back to Marin. Five? Okay. Uh, uh, 12. 12. Oh, okay. Sorry. That's cool. Alrighty. And that is my turn. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, so you cast this and you watch this hag um, kind of shudder for a moment. Um, but I just like whisper softly, like your evil ends here. <laughs> okay. Um, you watch as she kind of uh jolts her head upwards and reaches up with her hand uh to kind of claw at her own ears. Um, but as she stands within that same range of this cauldron that she originally approached, you watch almost as she is enveloped in this dark energy, and um, she seems to kind of teeter there for a moment before she looks back up at you and uh, that grin returns to her face. She's looking really rough, but she's still standing. Uh, she is also now enveloped in this black kind of matter uh, that seems to be siphoning down from the ceiling and kind of... It's, it's not quite a wall between you and her, but it almost is acting as like a cocoon around her. I do not like that, Sam, I am. 
<laughs> it is now uh, Nyx's turn. Um, Nyx is going to stand up from where he kind of has collapsed multiple times at this point because he's really not doing too well and he is going to turn and lift uh, the fabric of his shirt a little bit which is now absolutely soaked in blood and he's going to look at the wound on his side that seems to be It's bleeding, but it's also kind of oozing this greenish pustule matter. And um, he is going to... Uh, I'm trying to... Yeah, here we go. Uh, unfortunately, I can't even do that because... We haven't seen the sun in a very long time here, and that's kind of the source of Nyx's magical powers. Oh god, yeah, you're right. We haven't seen the sun in a while. We have not. Um... Let's see... He... Uh... Oh, what's this? Hold on a second. Ooh. I may have, I may, ooh woo, I might have another thing. <laughs> I may have one more trick up uh, Nyx's non-existent sleeves. Okay. Nat, you can make your jokes out loud. <laughs> you don't have to subtly slide them in the uh, in the Discord chat. Look, there's nothing. I don't want to disturb you. You were doing something important. No, and it's I'm okay. I'm, I'm literally reading my character sheet <laughs> uh, to make sure that I can do what I can do. Nyx is going to kind of place his hand over the wound for a moment and close his eyes and then he starts to faintly glow oh. and this is um it's not quite as bright as uh what you're used to when he uh heals all of you that is almost as if he is exuding sunlight this is more of a faint aura that starts to surround Nyx and he um, looks down at the wound and gets to heal uh, for his hit die, which means he gets a d8. Uh, I get to roll a d8 for him. Where is my d8? There it is. I'm so proud of him. <gasps> I mean, one. I almost... Uh, no, it's a two, but, like... <laughs> it's wow. something. It Listen, it's something. Uh, He's back up to 15 hit points instead of uh, 13, but you do see, um, thankfully, the wound starts to kind of lessen a little bit. It's still definitely there, and he kind of, like, hisses through his teeth uh, before turning and he that is actually a free action nice so now he is going to uh this is a reaction my god he has so many things that are just like <laughs> 
hey, here's something you can do in response to being attacked, but not quite, like, just doing his own thing. <laughs> However, uh, he's going to turn towards Cecilia and kind of look at you, Jez, and he's actually going to step between you and Cecilia and kind of set his arm on fire and he's going to oh. use his eyes of the beast to try and intimidate C Cecilia. <laughs> Which means she has to make a... Uh, what does she have to make? How I think it's she... a... What? How would she know? She can't see him. <laughs> <laughs> He's not very bright. <laughs> oh lord. Um, he's going to reach forward and put his. <laughs> let's let's have that interaction in character. As you, as Jess <laughs> hears a kind of dark uh, growl emanate from Nyx. <laughs> Are they gonna? You can use a free action. I don't. I honestly, I don't ha count dialogue as something that you have to do in turn. Did, sorry, uh, one clarification. Did Nyx hear my interaction with Faina? With Faina? No, he did not. That was before you reached where he was with Cecilia. Okay, um, okay then. Uh, <clears throat> Nyx? awkwardly clear his throat. What? You are aware that she is blind, yeah? Uh, you see him kind of like, look as if he's looking at you over his shoulder. Jez offers a wide smile. <laughs> uh, before he sighs and kind of like, reaches his hand forward, <laughs> it, the skin uh, on fire, and he holds it like right next to Cecilia's face. And he kind of growls at her. And you watch as she kind of like, she seems to wince away from the fire. And as she does so, she makes that motion again where she her hand up to her ear. Who and, uh, uh... Oops, sorry. No, that's okay. She starts to tremble a bit visibly. I'm going to give you one chance to hand over the blade in your hand and leave this fight. And she kind of looks uh, in the direction of his voice for a brief moment before her head snaps back again and she has her hand to her ear. And she uh, turns and holds her sword up in the direction of Nyx, who sighs and kind and doesn't he's not going to attack but he's going to keep his hand there and uh wait for the rest of the party to kind of make a move or tell him what to do mm. and as he does this the uh You all feel kind of a, it's almost like a pressure. That feeling of dread that you've all been carrying around inside you this entire time, it almost feels as if something is begins pressing on your chest for a brief moment and it feels difficult to breathe. And you watch as the hag who is enveloped in the dark energy, a that kind of flash appears around her and um 
her eyes glaze over with a blue glow. And you hear a familiar voice go, I would not do that if I were you. I fucking... <laughs> fucking... <laughs> no... It seems to almost be projected uh, throughout the room, and as that flash appears from the hag, a spotlight is om almost appears above your head, and on the platform, uh, you see the f the outline of Marion as he jumps from where he is and lands <laughs> Superman like on the arena, <laughs> right behind Cecilia, and he is going to take a swing at Nyx. Fuck. No. Hmm. Are you fucking kidding? I thought we took care of you. <laughs> no, he you curb not. stomped us I thought, all. Oh, I thought we... <laughs> you <laughs> ran from him. Oh, that's right. We d it's been a while. I thought we took care of him. <laughs> no. Yeah, I thought we ran from him. He smushed us into the dirt, and then we went underground. Oh, Christ. Uh, that is going to be a <laughs> 22 to hit. Which is going to hit Nyx mm. as he brings his fist back and just slams it directly into Nyx's jaw. Jaw. Uh. Ooh, that was okay. Uh, sorry, I'm doing math. Uh. Okay. Uh. You watch as Nyx takes the hit directly to the face and kind of crumples sideways as he takes uh 14 points of bludgeoning damage and uh kind of crumples to the ground he has one hit point remaining uh. and that is going to be well i mean nix's turn was already over that was the start of marion's turn um, he is going to, Marion is going to, uh, grab Cecilia by the hood of the red that she wears, and kind of pull her gently behind him so that he can stand between her and, uh, the rest of the party. Hmm. And it is technically the hag's turn now. So, you watch again, this hag, well, actually, I guess I will count that as her action. Um, does she get, she does get a bonus, so let me quickly look at her thing. She's going to stay within the kind of range of this funnel of energy that seems to be encasing her, and she's going to look down at Gunby's body at her feet, and almost as if seeing it for the first time, she's going to start devouring his flesh. Fuck. Um, no. I need everyone to make a... Let's see what it is called... Uh, I need everyone to make a wisdom saving throw. Uh. Alright, alright, alright. Hell yeah, Nyx. Uh, ten. Uh, oh, thank god that was a nat 20. <laughs> what did Jez get? Sorry, I was doing math. That was a 23. You're good. And Nyx rolled a natural 19. Plus whatever his wisdom is, which is not good. It's a it's a one, so that's still a twenty. Um, I'm proud of him. Nix is too distracted by his shattered jaw to take notice of what uh, the hag is. And Marin, you're a bit out of range of seeing this. Um, Jez, you as you watch, you kind of don't feel 
uh, not you. Obviously, there is sympathy or a kind of reaction because you did spend some time with Gunby, and he was one of your uh, party members. But as you watch the hag dig in, it it doesn't shift your feeling. You were kind of expecting this horrible act um, to happen, as it's kind of been happening this entire time. But Peter, this is not something you are used to. There's This is not something you could ever get used to. And as you watch this hag dig into it, you feel a sinking pit in the bottom of your stomach and are overwhelmed with fear. And you are now currently frightened of the hag. Oh god, what uh, was that again? While frightened in this way, a creature is incapacitated, can't understand what others say, can't read, and speaks only in gibberish. Uh, I, out, <laughs> I, I control Peter's movement, which is erratic. Uh, but at uh, at the end of your next turn, after I've kind of established what how, what, what Peter does, uh, you can make the saving throw again to see if he recovers. Wait, actually, wait, 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 wait hold on. I just remembered something. I need to double check something. Okay. Um, I forgot that halflings, uh, halflings have a racial ability called brave. Uh, <laughs> brave, you have advantage on saving throws against being frightened. Alrighty, go ahead and make a second <laughs> saving throw, Peter. We have advantage on being frightened. Oh my god. God damn, so halflings I'm... have some good racial traits. <laughs> this is why I love halflings, guys. <laughs> All right. Those damn know. hobbits. That's a two. Fuck me, that's a two. <laughs> Fuck. I'm, I'm freaking sorry. out, man. No, I'm, I'm so sorry, Peter. You are not... Though you, um... Remember the, the words of your family, uh... As they kind of... Wished you... Well on your way... Out... In the world. Uh... The thought kind of... Just reminds you that you may never see them again because this is the thing that you have to fight and you just become paralyzed with fear. Everyone sorry, else, Dad. you're okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mom. Oh. I'm sorry. It is uh, top of the order and it's Marin's turn. Um, okay. Uh,. Oh, God. We're just really running through shit. God, um... Marin... ...is gonna get over feeling queasy and... Um, and climb back up on the platform. Okay. Um, and seeing Nyx on the ground. It's gonna take a breath, and even though it heard him the last time is gonna stretch his hand out and call another lightning bolt okay um who oh, is wait, casting hold on. that? <laughs> I'm, I'm casting it hold on Freaking mind casting the spell. But let me double check on that. Um. Wait, hold on. I'm sorry. You're good. Uh, just kidding. 
Uh, instead of calling a lightning bolt. Ouch. Um. He's gonna raise his hand straight up over his head. Okay. And clench his hand into the fist. Um. How big is this room? The arena itself is yeah. about all the way around because it's a perfect circle. It's about a, a hundred feet. Perfect. A forty-foot diameter storm cloud begins to coalesce above. Um, Marion and the Hag need to make a strength. I need you to make another wisdom saving throw. All right. Not wisdom. I'm sorry. Intelligence. Even better. Oh god. Drop my brain. Do I, I mean, do I also have to make one for being basically in front of Marion? Uh, Marion Mar has skull okay. spell, so we're never affected by Marion's spells unless all of us are in his range, because that means. Um, I'm, this is a. This is a third level spell, and it's um. One plus the spell level, and there's there's four of us. I don't count because my spells don't hit me anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I just wanted to make sure. And I believe there's only four other people I need to worry about: Cecilia, Peter, and Jet. Jez and Nex. What's the range of this spell? Like, who? What is the range that people have to be inside? <laughs> A forty feet diameter. Okay. Um, there is like 18, so <laughs> 26 for my intelligence save. Okay. Um, you feel that same ache as you cast this, only this time it, it feels like. It's less of just a muscle ache like it was last time. It almost feels as if um, something is squeezing your chest. Uh, it's very similar to the feeling that you felt uh, right before the hag summoned Marion. But this is worse than that. This feels like you're suffocating for a moment. Uh, and it takes everything in your power to keep your hand extended towards the ceiling as it as this power flows from you and into the the room around you uh you watch as the black on your hand starts to creep a little bit further down your wrist great Marin is just gonna cower they need to make strength saves okay that was the first one uh it's just the hag and marion right mm -hmm. oh goody actually i'm not gonna sculpt spell around cecilia for this one okay she gets uh, hit too the hag rolled a 22. That does well, save. Equivalent to a 22. Uh, luckily. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm, Mary, Marion only rolled a 10. That does not save. So he's gonna take. Wait, that makes no sense. Hold on, am I reading the wrong stat? Oh, it's still only a thirteen. Uh, and to make a save for Cecilia. Oh, that's a nineteen. That does save. Okay. Okay. Well, ugh. well, that was kind of shitty. Marion's gonna take. Not. No. Sorry. 
Uh, he's gonna take eight points of bludgeoning damage. And Marin swipes his hand down, and a bolt of lightning comes and slams into Marion. Okay. As well, if I can hit. Are you making an attack roll? Does, does 17 hit his AC? Uh, no, it does not. Okay, then the lightning oh. bolt slams in just beside him. Okay, um, how much was the original damage? Eight. Okay. Points of bludgeoning. Okay. Uh, let me just make a note of that. Okay. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> and that is Marin's turn. Uh, Marin is this... Your turn kind of wraps up. You have to curl your hand away um, from your spell and you now are looking down at your slightly further blackened hand. It's not significant, but it's noticeable. And it is now... Do, do, do who? Jez's, I believe? I could be wrong? I think so. Let me double check. Nope, I'm right. Jez. Hello! Hello! What are you gonna do? Um, so... Mary... Marion has dropped in to say hello, is right in front of me, has Cecilia behind me. Is, um, Thana still behind where I left her? Yeah, Thana is behind you, watching very intently. Um, does it look like Marion has noticed her? No. Okay. Um,. Uh, give me just a second. I don't think I have this spell, but maybe I do. Mm, definitely not. That's okay. Um. Uh, Jez is going to... Sorry, I had to rethink what I was doing because that ended up not working. Jez is going to cast a third level spell. Called, where is it? Why can't I find it? I literally just had it up. Come back, please. Um. Oh my gosh, sorry. You did the thing that I keep all of my spells in just goofed, and and now I can't find what I'm doing again. <laughs> um. Yeah. So Jess is gonna cast. Uh. Flame, yeah, flame blade, I guess, and okay. take uh, as a fourth level spell, and take a whack at Marion, who I think should be within my. Absolutely, he's standing right in front of you. Okay, this is probably gonna go poor poorly, but technically you have to like w like walk up next to Nyx, but Nyx was also directly in front. Of you. Like, yeah. Alright, um... It's not even enough to count as movement. Take... And... Make a melee... Melee spell attack with a fiery blade. Okay. So that's a... Nineteen? It does not hit. Oh my fucking Are you god. Serious? Guys, we're all gonna die. This is fine. This is fine. Uh, Peter's just crying. Peter is literally crying. <laughs> <laughs> is that the end of the turn or you would you like to make any kind of movement? 
I think I probably moved back. You're gonna move back? Yeah. Alright, how far are you retreating? I'll... Um... Sword out. A flaming, fiery sword out. Um... <laughs> just backing away towards Sena. Um... I'm sure going to make, make an, an attack, attack of opportunity? Yep. Hit me with it. Okay. <laughs> So he sees you start to retreat, and he's going to take a step forward, and just one of his steps is like four of Jez's. So he uh, is going to reach out and try to uh, hit you. He's going to try and stop me again. Yes, he is. No. Good for him. Stick to, stick to what you know you're good at. Does a... Let me. Make sure. Okay. Uh. I. Why can't I read? There we go. Does it love it? And eleven, like one one. Yeah. No, it does not. Okay. Uh, and he oh, reaches out because you see him coming and just back out of his range. Okay. Um. I'm going to say because Marion is standing between you and Cecilia, Cecilia does not make an attack, an opportunity of attack, and chooses to remain behind Marion. How kind of you. Mm-hmm. It, uh, it's gonna be Peter's turn. Peter, oh, what is your, um, what's your, your speed, your walking speed? Uh, because I am a halfling, it is 25 feet. Okay. Versus, like, a normal 30. Uh, Peter, you are tunnel visioned on this hag. Um, it's like everything in the else in the room has kind of tuned out, and you are just watching as the fleshy bits of your former friend are falling from her mouth and getting stuck in her teeth um, as she tears her long, gnarly fingers into what is remaining of Gunby, and I have to say there's not much left. Um, and you just... You want nothing more than to be out of here. And so you instinctually uh, run. <laughs> you instinctually run away from the direction of the hag as far as your feet will carry you, uh, which is off the platform about... Uh, Since you were already on the edge of the platform, it's going to be about 25 feet off the platform, which means you are now officially 40 feet away from the hag and uh, 25 oh, wow. feet away from the rest of your party. <sighs> and you're kind of standing in the open, uh, your eyes darting around, uh, looking for any kind of exit, but at, this room has gone unchanged around you. Um, and still, as you stare out, you are staring into the maw of the void. And that scares you almost as much as the hag. Uh, make a... What was it, a wisdom save? You can make it again. Uh, it's, it's, I'm, I'm not sure if, bra if the brave feature for halflings is for each time, but... Uh, I... I think it is. Alright. I'll say it is. Alright, please, my little halfling heart, don't fail me now. Oh, crap. Okay, that's a five. Good thing I have advantage. Are you kidding me? That's a ten again. <laughs> um... Yeah, you you are still very scared and desperately looking for a way out, and that is the end of your turn. It's Nix's okay. turn again. 
Okay, <laughs> <I hate> my life. <laughs> hey, at least your heart didn't fail. Then you oh, have yes. bigger medical issues. Yes. <laughs> You're <laughs> technically close enough to Nyx. Um, I forgot to tell you this on the end of your turn, but um, roll roll for your hit die as his little aura kind of comes out and you feel a slight warmth and reassurance uh, I... before, before you watched your friend hit the deck. <laughs> I'm just rolling one hit die? Yeah, whatever your hit die is, roll one of those and you- Well, that wasn't great. But... Okay. Yeah. I got a two! <laughs> Okay, that's what I got. <laughs> yeah. We out here healing two points of damage. Baby steps. Yeah. One point at a time. Um, Nyx, who can barely see out of the swelling of his eye right now, uh, which is already reacting to the blunt force of Marion's swing, is going to... Stagger, well, less so stagger, he has hit the- he's prone once again, so he's going to stand, and, um, stagger as far away from Marion as possible, uh, and I believe, uh, standing from prone takes half your action, right? So he's only going to move 15 feet away. Um, and you watch as he kind of huffs, um, and you see his form kind of start to change and grow and that same kind of distortion around him uh that you saw earlier when he was fighting in the maze start to happen and as you see this he stumbles away and it's almost as if one second nick's standing there and the next is this horrific looking beast as he lets out an unearthly screech and the the scales from his arm just shoots up and envelops the rest of his body and it's almost as if a cloud of smoke has enshrouded him and you are now staring at what is uh can only be described in familiar terms as a wendigo his arms have elongated to these long, uh, almost spindly fingers. Um, they go down past his knees. His knees have kind of, his legs have kind of turned into these hoof feet. And his torso has become ragged. You can see bits of his rib cage through the flesh. Jesus. And his head has kind of elongated into what looks like almost like a an elk but the snout is just skull and that is going uh, to take his turn and it is now um, the hag's turn uh, after she finishes her meal, um, she kind of, like, licks the blood off of her hand and looks around, standing back up, uh, and gazing upwards into this pyre of dark energy. And she's going to let out a another kind of screeching sound and a flash is going to emanate from her once again
and Marion is going to see Nyx, who is still the closest within his range, and he's going to uh, step towards him and just let out another swing. He's not straying so far from uh, Cecilia that she's vulnerable again, uh, but he is most certainly, like, Nyx fell to the ground basically at his feet. So... Uh, I'll do this afterwards. Um, let's. I need to make an attack against Nyx. That's a nat twenty. And Marion is going to just wail on him. Oh my fucking god! He's fucking dead. Um, he might be. <laughs> he double. Okay. I need to roll some dice here. Give me a second. Okay, that's... 22 points of bludgeoning damage. And uh, you all watch as... Marion more or less just kind of brings his fist down directly um, against... Nyx's spine as Nyx is kind of turned away from him to make this transformation um and Nyx lets out an unearthly screech and kind of uh falls forward from the brunt of the impact and I don't believe he has anything to help him here mm mm Wendy. Yeah. Uh, you watch as this creature that once was your friend uh, crumples to the ground uh, and a dark liquid starts to ooze out from him. It's red, but it's tinted with this black uh and Marion is going to retreat the few steps backwards uh, and place himself in front of Cecilia again as you see that flash that radiated out of the hat uh, land on a platform the opposing platform Marion was standing and you see uh, the smirking face of Lorelei, and behind her, less joyful looking, her brother, Calliope, and she, in her hand, holds a uh, trapeze rope, which was part of the reason why the platform was there in the first place. And she kind of smiles and says, Brother, why don't we show these uh, folks a real show? And she... jumps from the platform and swings uh, down overhead. And as she does so, a silvery beam of light uh, emits from her hand and uh, a cylinder kind of four around uh, the ground she seems to have focused it on let's uh, she seems to have focused it on Peter who is out in the open 
it is 40 feet high and uh, surrounds you. It's about five foot, a five foot radius. Um, you all turn and watch as Peter goes up in flames, but it's not, it's not red fire. It is almost like a phantom flame. It is white and silvery and wraps around you. And Peter, you feel a searing pain rip through your body. Uh, make a constitution saving throw. Peter's screaming. Yeah. On top of being frightened, he's just, he's literally just going fucking insane. Constitution, you said? Yep. <sighs> Please, God. Please, gods. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> God, okay, uh, let me see, where's my, there it is. Oh my god, the gods have failed me. <laughs> um, it's okay, it's okay, you didn't, uh, it, don't worry too much. Um, <laughs> you only take ten points of radiant damage. Cool. Um, as these flames just re like, wrap around you. And, um... Okay. You guys watch as uh, Calliope kind of uh, stands at the end of the platform, and he doesn't... It's hard to tell from the ground, but he's definitely not moving as quickly as his sister. Um... And he kind of looks down at the ground and tilts his head a little bit and then closes his eyes and opens his mouth and starts to sing. And I need everybody to make a wisdom saving throw. Including me? Uh... Yes, technically, because you can hear it. Got it. I'm sorry. That's okay. It's, no, it's okay. Pat's doing the back from where I am. It's okay. Uh, okay. Wisdom? Yeah, it's wisdom. Wow, I really hate my life. I roll. <laughs> okay. I roll a five. Fucking. This dice is putting. This dice. Is, I would. I'm turn using a different dice now. If Groovy's too loud, turn him down. We're, we're remixing. 22. Okay. Oh, Jesus, Peter. I'm using a different d20 now after this fucking... <laughs> this mother. Uh, hold on, I type... Actually, I don't have to make one for Nick. Um, I do have to make one for everyone else who's within this vicinity, so give me a second to roll a bunch of shit. They fail. That's cop somehow. You got uh, this? Uh... His eerie kind of song that you recognize kind of fills this space around you. Um, and it's as if you're standing in an empty room. It echoes around you like the ceiling is impossibly high and there's nothing to stop the sound from bouncing around and just reverberating right back at you. Hmm. Oh, I have so many tabs open, I can't even read what they are anymore, because they're <laughs> just single- They're just single letters. <laughs> uh, not that one. There we go, okay, okay. Okay, he actually has a pretty decent- Uh, so he does save, she does not. Uh, for everyone's reference, I don't know, Nat, you may not be able to display this on the, the stream, but uh, for everyone's reference in story refs, this is what Nyx currently looks like. 
it's uploading. Uh, <laughs> slowly, but surely. Uh... Perfect. You watch as, um... Thena kind of looks up and seems to be in, uh, entranced with, uh, uh, Calliope's song. I almost said Lorelei. All right. Uh, she seems to be the only one other than Peter, who, Peter, amidst your pain, you hear this beautiful song and it almost seems to completely distract you from the pain and the, the fear that you uh, were feeling before and um, the fear is dispersed but you still find yourself unable to move you are so entranced with this beautiful song uh and you look up and see calliope singing and almost a faint smile appears on your lips almost involuntarily as you kind of listen to his beautiful song mm -hmm. Uh -huh. And you are charmed. I am charmed. With that, we are back. Uh, oh, it's uh, Mar Marion's turn, so I have to make a strength save real quick. Mm, that wasn't very good. Hold on a second. I have to go back to my, my little thing. Here it is. There it is. Okay, that's much better. Uh, does a 13 beat it? No. Okay, he failed. He takes... Oh, that was a 6. That was a 4. So he takes 10 points of bludgeoning. Okay. Um, who else finished their turn that isn't one of my... Well, technically, so Lorelai and Cal are not in the range of this spell because they're on, like, the edge of the arena. And the arena is, as I said, 100 feet across, so covering 40 feet of that area, correct? Yes, it's covering 40 feet. Okay, so they, um, they're on the edges of, they're outside of your field of, but I guess technically the hag would be. Yes. Uh, so let me quickly make, oops. I completely missed my box. Uh, strength save. Her modifier is. I'm not going to be said out loud, but uh, 16. She just saves. Okay. Uh, that was on. That was not a good roll for the hag. Thank God for strength abilities. <laughs> um. Let's see here. It's Marin's turn. As that was the bottom of the order. And Cecilia did not chose not to take a turn. Okay. Um is Cecilia still within that forty feet? Oh true. Yeah. I guess yeah. she does have to Even if she doesn't take an action, oh. she still has her turn in it. Yeah, that's not bad. Oh, uh, she got a seventeen. Okay, she makes it. Yeah. She All right. Rolled really well. She rolled really well. She does not have a strength, uh, a big strength modifier. For her saving throws. Uh. But it is Marin's turn, so. Um. Marin. Is this a concentration spell that yeah. you were. 
Okay. But I haven't been hit since. Okay. Um. Oh my god. Marin is... going to stare at the beast that was his best friend. Mm -hmm. I'm looking speechless and just turn towards where I can see Calliope. Yep. And shout. I didn't take you for a coward. I didn't take you for a pushover. Prove me wrong. And... Can I hit... Can I move wherever I have to move to hit um, both Marion and the Hag? And yes, um... Cecilia's going to be in that line of fire as well, just so That's you know. That's perfectly fine. Okay. Um... Because I can still sculpt around her. Okay. I'm casting another lightning bolt okay at... third level okay make an intelligent save with disadvantage oh god not bad 13 and a 14 Intelligence? Yeah. Twenty-one. Jeez. My intelligence modifier is plus. <laughs> Just barely. Um. What kind of saves do I have to make? Dexterity. Also. Does this mean your other spell is ended? No, I can maintain con okay. and cast okay. a spell as long as it doesn't also require concentration. Okay, just double checking. Did you say strength? Dex. Oh, dex, okay. Alright, first up to the bat. First up to the bat. Um, Mary, get a 21. That's oh, it. God. Still takes half. Ah! <laughs> Where did my go? Okay, wait, hold on. It's under the door. <laughs> I somehow managed to throw my d20 at, uh, in a way that it ramped off my dice box and out of, like, out of my uh, reach. Okay. God, I hope that didn't damage these dice. I'm using my gemstone dice. Okay. Uh, that was garbage. Uh, Cecilia got a four. Cecilia? Oh, wait, Cecilia is not- I'm, you're sculpting around her, Cecilia. right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, then I get to do this then, because it's for the hag. Uh, the hag rolled. Let's see. Let's see. That's an 18. That saves, but she will still take damage. Alrighty. So. Let me roll.
And you guys thought I rolled a lot of dice for damage. Okay, so <laughs> it's 32 points of damage halved. So 16. 16 points of lightning damage to both of them. Alrighty. Um, and as my bonus action, Mern throws his hand out to Lorelei. Is she within 150 feet of me? She is. She's getting hit by light. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna uh, roll to attack. Okay. Does a... Twenty-two hit. Yes, it does. <laughs> All right. It's gonna take forty-six lightning. It was sixteen points for the other two, right? Yeah. All righty. Here we go again. Here we go again. Oh my god. I rolled two sixes and then a five and then a four. Very good. Um, so she gets hit with 20 points of lightning damage. Alrighty. Um, by the way, I don't know if this is relevant, but creatures within 30 feet of the sphere. Um or in the sphere have disadvantage on perception checks made to listen. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so I, I imagine many... Cecilia is probably getting a little white noise. Yeah. Uh, sh no and Naren you. was screaming at the top of his lungs. Okay. Um, sorry, I have to see. Okay, math. Um, 20 points. Lorelai. She seems very surprised that you uh, reacted so quickly to her. Okay, there we go. Uh, to her kind of like surprise appearance, and she does not expect you to uh, take a like take a hit at her. Um, and so your bolt of lightning strikes her directly, and she kind of screams and you see um feathers kind of fly uh off of the platform where she's perched she's now when she swung she swung to the other side of the platform so she's now on the opposite end of the arena from you and on the opposing side of calliope um and she looks taken aback roughed up but is still doing okay I need to do math. Okay. Uh, we're about there. Okay. And is that the end of Marin's turn? Yeah, he's staying exactly in place. Okay, he moved to be... So he, oh, I'm pretty... sorry. He, he got up on the platform, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Yeah, so he took, like, a step or two forward, but... Okay. That means it's Jed's turn. It's my turn. Uh, it's time for Jed's opinion. Uh, <laughs> Jed's still facing the arena at large. Uh, I look. Did they end up getting back to where Thana was? Yeah. Okay. Thana's right next to you. Okay. Um. So they're still kind of hanging out with their magic flaming sword and. Okay. Looking around, trying to figure out what to do next. Um, but mm, I think it's time you came straight with us, Tana. Why does she matter? Uh, Tana kind of takes a moment because it's everything is moving very quickly. Um, this. This is basically the equivalent of Jez running up to her and being like, tell it to me straight. Yep. 
what is going on. Yeah. Um, and Dana kind of looks around, uh, from you to kind of peer around you where Marion's standing, um, and then back at you, and it's very disorienting because this girl that you've been traveling with every once in a while, she, her appearance was slightly altered every time she appeared to help you, and now you're just staring what looks to be Cecilia straight in the face. Mm -hmm. uh, but she, the difference is she is looking back at you. And she kind of uh, seems to think for a moment before she goes, I... When you, when you killed the other two, something must have happened. Some of their magic that's keeping this place the way it is must have died with them. Because I remember now. That girl, her name isn't Cecilia, it's Dana. Nice, 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 okay? Uh -huh. You can't hear this, Peter, you're across the room! And <laughs> you're charmed! Uh. <laughs> no one can hear this but Jez. Um, and she's me, <clears throat> Dana Cowell. I remember now they, they took me, my parents, this circus, they brought me here, but not, it wasn't anywhere close to here. I don't know how far away we are from my home, but it is certainly not close anymore. And this circus came to town and Naturally, I wanted to go. I begged my parents to bring me here. And... They... Left me. I don't... I don't think it was on purpose. It's... I was trapped here, and I guess. Ah, sorry. Jesus. I guess at some point, my parents stopped looking, and I. I remember I was down in that prison with those other kids but I, I wouldn't stop fighting I wouldn't listen those necklaces that they give them it's it's a token from the hag and they use it to talk to them and twist their minds and convince them that what they want is right and that their parents are evil and they should be killed but I wouldn't listen and 
I guess they thought... I didn't have any use to them. And when we arrived here... They brought me here, where your... Where your friend is now. And... Killed me, but they didn't do it... Like that, they didn't... Feast on me. They just... Seemed to... Suck the life out of me. And then I remember blackness. And then I woke up and I couldn't remember anything. But I wasn't me anymore. I was... I was this. I was... Just the ghost of who I used to be. And I didn't look anything like myself, but I didn't know that. I couldn't remember what I looked like. I couldn't remember anything about who I was. And... That's just... A puppet. There's something not right about this place. Something about the magic here. I shouldn't... She shouldn't be able to be alive right now without... Me inside her body, but she is, and she has a business, and I don't know who that is, but... It's not me, and it's not Cecilia. But... It is a, still a body that my parents would recognize. So please, I don't know what will happen if you kill her. I don't know what will happen to me. But, if you have to do something, can you, can you promise me you'll find my parents and give them my body so that they can have a proper burial? Does looks at Thena for the first time in this conversation because they've kind of been studying the layout and tilts her head a little bit. I make no promises that I do not know with absolute certainty that I can keep. It seems though that for someone as bright-spirited as you, being a spirit kind of broke you. Have you tried taking back over? <laughs> Possess yourself. <laughs> I know this is the first time I've really realized that that's who that is, that that's me. So I had no reason to previously. But I, I could try. Maybe you ought to. And we'll see where this uh, ends. What if... There's no use of thinking about the what ifs. Just do something and deal with the consequences after. Uh, and... I just is gonna kind of cut that conversation right there. Take a couple <laughs> steps forward. And not like 
move forward, move forward, but like move away yep. a little bit. And um, cast Healing Word at Nyx or the Beast on the floor. Bless your soul. Yeah. All right. What What do I get back? <laughs> Uh, 1d4 plus... Roll your die. That is another two! Yay! <laughs> uh, is it plus anything? Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me a second. Plus... Thank God Nyx's max HP is, like, two. significant. Uh, five? Okay. Plus five or five total? Uh... Actually, I have a question. Yeah? Let me clarify before I say this number for full. So it's plus spellcasting modifier that's just straight, no proficient profici mm -hmm. or anything? I don't believe you had your proficiency modifier. Okay, yeah. So um, hold on. To heal? Yeah. It's just the die. Uh, it depends on the spell. For yeah, example, I think like healing, word is healing, different. Yeah, like for example, healing word. Let me add. Uh, yeah, it's add a spell casting it says one d four plus spellcasting modifier. Oh, okay. Modifier. Yeah, I, I play a wizard. <laughs> yes, we know. <laughs> <laughs> All of my what? spells don't add. A <laughs> <little up. laughs> Holy shit! None of my spells add anything to like damage, so I figured it worked the same way with you. Might be. No. Okay, so it's five points total. Back. Alrighty. Oh, I see. Yay. Wait, Nick. Hold has on. Thank you. Uh, five points total. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold oh, on. Okay, 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 okay. It says I can, if I cast at second level or higher, it increases for every level. So let yeah. me let me do that for you. What are you casting <laughs> it at? I will cast it at uh, a. I have one more fourth level spell, so we're gonna do that. Oh okay. boy. Thank you, Jez. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> okay, I need to get another one. I think this is weighted. <laughs> I rolled another two. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess you have a 25% uh, a chance of rolling a two. Yeah. <laughs> But the last, like, five times I've rolled that, it's been a two. Um, Alright, so that's okay. seven points total. That's... Oops. I typed seven twice, so I had 77 health for a hot second. Oh, wait, yeah, you get one per level. Alright, so, uh... Ten. You get ten points total. Yay! That's one-fifth about of my health. I'm sorry... Uh, you hear kind of a gurgling noise, and, uh, the creature on the ground, you see, like, take a heaving breath as it kind of shifts upwards and lifts its head. Up and at him, honey. There's still things to do. It's Peter's turn. Unless, Jez, you don't have anything else, right? Nope, that's it. Alright, so Peter's turn, then. You wanna... <laughs> you wanna make saves here, buddy? Uh, technically you... Only need to make one. Um, For my charm, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is that? What kind of save is that? It is. Let's see. Well, charmed. If the charm target is more than five feet away, the mo must move on its turn toward the harpy. Okay, so you, Peter, you use your turn to move the last. 25 feet away from the platform to the edge of the pit and you start to climb towards where uh, Calliope is singing uh, but you don't get very far far off the ground um, yeah you have to make a wisdom save Wisdom save book. Oh man. Okay. <sighs> and since Please. this is charm, this doesn't give you like the advantage thing anymore. It's not. A, it's not a. Uh, no. Oh thing. wait. Um. But I do have uh counter charm for a bard. I can hear you sigh. Just like. <laughs> um. Counter charm for bard. You're already charmed. Oh. So, okay. Okay. Like counter charm is a spell, isn't it? 
Yeah. It's a, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so you're you're already being charged. Um, you would have had to cast that previously. Okay, so. all right. Wisdom, you said? Yep, wisdom. Okay. All right, new d20. Please don't fail me this time. <sighs> I hate my life. Eight. <laughs> no, that does not succeed. What Peter is, remains is... entranced by Kaliyu's song. Though it's not playing anymore, it does last um, for the uh, entirety of the song, so I believe it's... Oh my god, I'm so sorry about that noise. Uh, an advertisement on a page just started loading. Uh, yeah, so it's just... He's just singing, so as long as he's singing, you are at danger of being charmed. Um, so that's the end of Peter's turn. <laughs> um, sorry, friend. That's cool, that's cool. It's Nix's turn. Nix is going to stand up off the ground. Um, the beast is, that is. And you hear kind of this sickening, splintering sound as kind of his ribs and his spine snap back into place. And he's going to stand up and lunge towards Marion. Hey, uh, does anyone know what blind sight is, just out of curiosity? Yes. Um, it means you don't have to... Um, basically, if you are in a situation you cannot such as um, pitch darkness, mm -hmm. you have whatever radius of vision still. Okay. Um, like, oh, I don't think you've seen Avatar. <laughs> but you can, you can still see. Um, okay. You can sense the specific presences of people around you, even if your eyes weren't open, per se. Okay. Or you were blinded. Alrighty. Alrighty. To the one next... To the next higher one. And you can use this group with both hands. Excellent. So you watch as this uh, beast hands catch on fire, both of them, and he's going to slash forward uh, and make an attack. Let's see if he, does he get? Uh... No, okay. I was just making sure he didn't have like, uh... Profic uh, what do you call it? Advantage or anything? Not good. That was a seven plus uh, strength. That's a nine. It does not hit. I don't know why I spent that long. Uh, so he... What the hell was that? That was me. Sorry. <laughs> I, was That's opening, okay. I was opening the wine bottle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I it was a squeak. I thought you were like yawning. No, um, that was... The wine bottle squeaking as I opened it. <laughs> Better. Um, he hits on the second one for the first time ever, and he digs his claws across Marion. Because that was a 21. Uh, which means I get to roll a higher dice. Nice. Three times. I'm so proud of him. So he gets 3d10. Oh. Nope, that's a... Oh, wait. No, yeah, that's just a... Okay. Math, math. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. And then I do this. Ooh, that was nice. That was also nice. Those were all very good. He deals 10 points of slashing damage, but as you watch his claws kind of, like, scratch the surface of the wood, um, a streak of fire follows in the path of his claws, and he does 11 points of fire damage, uh, which actually... You watch as Marion kind of, for the first time, really reacts. And he's going to take 22 points of fire damage. I'm so proud of him. He actually hit something for once in his life. For once. And he's not even himself for it. So that's 32 points of damage total. Um, Marion is looking very rough. Uh, you watch as, um, the kind of only remaining feature on him, which is his face, kind of cracks further, and a part of this, like, porcelain almost uh breaks away and now you are looking half a mile with cracks running through his eyes and down his entire face his body is nothing more than this wooden figure dressed as marion was dressed um but a lot less elaborate it's not as extravagant as what it's a very basic uh ringleader <laughs> costume to put it in perspective, it's like Spirit Halloween ringleader versus the home <laughs> costumes from The Greatest Showman. <laughs> How unfortunate. Uh, yes. And Marion kind of takes this hit and seems to kind of stagger from it. Uh, but he does not move from his defensive uh, pose in front of Cecilia. And that is the end of Nyx's turn. Which means, here we go with the enemies again. This time the hag doesn't summon whatever beam of light uh, she's been emitting these past times. This time she's going to reach out with her hand and point towards uh, one of the hags that is resting on the ground. No. No. <laughs> um, no. 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 Absolutely not. No. Absolutely not. All right. I'm, blowing, I'm blowing my third level, my last third level, and I'm counterspelling her. Okay. Uh, do um, I have to do anything? This is a third uh, level, uh, spell, so... Then no. Okay. Uh, you see kind of a pulse of energy emit from her hand. Raises his hands out and waves it. <laughs> <laughs> Wiz, make a intelligent saving throw with disadvantage. God fucking damn it! It's not even a lightning spell! It doesn't matter. <laughs> Fuck me. That was an 18 and a 3. Well. 11. Alright. Hold on, I have to pull up a thing that I have not had to pull up yet. There we go. Oh, God damn it. I need to roll. God something. damn it. God damn it. <laughs> Where did it go? There it is. Okay. I hope you you guys are going as hard as you can, because Marin certainly. <laughs> what did I roll? Sorry, I can't hear you. I'm charmed. 
It's fine. Marin is throwing everything he fucking has. <sighs> um, Marin, you cast, you go to cast this spell, but it's almost as if the second you go to cast it, you're hit with a mental. It almost feels as if you are being hit directly in the skull with. A blunt impact and it's not it doesn't you don't feel it physically it's like mentally and <laughs> T is T is very upset about it um nothing comes from your hands in fact you just feel this searing pain as you try to cast and A, as you kind of recoil in on yourself from the pain, you feel this wave of energy emit from you, and everyone who's within 30 feet of you, so uh, Jez, Nyx, Cecilia, Thana, and Marion, uh, and the Hag, everyone except for Peter and the people who are up on the platform, so Lorelai and um, Calliope. Uh, you feel almost as if something has opened in your mind and you're you're just hit with this feeling of like static in your brain and um, for the next minute you are all vulnerable to psychic damage all of us not you Peter you're out of range Okay. You're still charmed, though. You are still charmed. Fuck me. Oh my fucking god. Alrighty. Oh, does Mayor want to do anything else? Oh, that wasn't even- that was a counterspell. So actually, this oh, hag is going action. to continue, um, casting what she was yeah. casting. Does it- as... I have a question, though. Yeah. Does it, it does use a spell slot. Fuck. Me! It does. Think of what just happened as- uh, you've seen the Harry Potter movies, yeah? Uh, for the most part, yeah. Okay. So, you- you know when Ron puts tape in the middle of his wand, so all of his spells hit him instead of his intended target? Yeah. It's kind of like that, except you're not hit with the spell that you were, like, intending to cast. It's just... It's blowback. You're hit with a different kind of magic. Um, and your magic did not go forward, it went towards you. So it still spends a, a spell slot. Um, uh, I have to quickly check how this spell works. <laughs> T. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, he's really happy I'm home. Let him play <laughs> on our guest member tonight. Guest cat member. Alrighty. So we're gonna go with this version. Oh, there we go. Okay. You watch as this spell continues to do what it intended to do, as it a dark kind of energy, the same that is in, uh, holding this hag in this cocoon, reaches out from the end of her hand and envelops the hag that's on the ground. Uh... How... 
dare you do this to me, Forgotten Realms? Oh my goodness. Ah, help me. You watch this hag sort of rise from where she was on the ground. Um, not, it doesn't look the same as what happened to the other hag began siphoning the energy directly into her. Um, but you watch as this hag rises again, and some of the wounds begin to heal, but she still seems very weakened in this state as she is revived by her comrade. Which means she gets to take a turn. The other one does not. That's the end of that hag's turn. This hag is going to see that it, it has arisen and immediately uh, pick up her staff and slam it into the ground. And you all watch as this green energy radiates from underneath her staff. And she's going to cast this. Um, it ripples outwards. And everyone make a constitution saving throw except for... Actually, including Peter. Oh man, that means I have to make the child who is hiding in the corner make a dexterity saving throw as well. Oh, oh I forgot. That constitution did. saving throw. Not good. <sighs> Not good for Nyx, either. Um... 12? Uh... 15. Uh, 5. 12, 15, and 5. And I rolled a... What is Nyx's constitution? Hmm. I rolled a 7 for Nyx. And I rolled a five for the child. Um, this green energy ripples out from the bottom of her staff and... Jez. Yeah. Peter. Nyx. And the boy who's sitting in the corner, as well as... Nope, she did okay. Alrighty. Uh, that's it. As well as the boy sitting in the corner. You feel as if the life is being drained out of you. And you are going to take... Twenty points of necrotic. Oh wait, I did not roll enough. Hold on. Twenty-nine points of necrotic damage. Oof. Well. How much? Twenty-nine points of necrotic damage uh, as I'm... this circle of death radiates from this with uh, hag's staff, and she cackles. I'm unconscious. The beast who is heaving in front of uh, Mar Marion just kind of collapses to the ground as he also is knocked unconscious. And now, Jez solo runs this entire thing! Marion is fine. <laughs> um, Marion saves. Marion saved. Jesus Christ. The boy, however, um... You hear 
kind of a choking noise. Um, and anyone who turns to react will see that in the corner at the base of the pedestal where Calliope is now perched, um, the boy who has been huddling there uh, out of harm's way seems to writhe on the ground and you watch as he kind of wriggles and writhes before it seems almost as if his body settles and he falls still. Okay. Marion doesn't move. He is not taking an action. He is going to re hold his ground and basically hold his turn until someone tries to make a move for Cecilia. And Lorelai, however, is not going to be quite as nice. Um, um, sorry, I just remembered. Anyone who isn't my party ending their turn in the... Okay, that's uh, for... Needs the hag to take a strength save. The hag rolled a twenty-three, so she's yeah. good. Okay. Uh, Marion. What is his? I always forget what his modifier is, and I keep losing his thing. There it is. <laughs> Marion rolled a thirteen. No. All right. He doesn't save, so. Who else is in here? The sun, right? Well, I have a question. If yep. he's holding his turn, does that count as ending his turn? Uh, you hold actions. Okay. So he, it's technically he's still ending his turn. He's just taking his action okay. out of specific. Okay, that's fine. I was just clarifying. Yeah, you hold your action until something specific triggers it. Okay. Yeah, it's basically converting that action to a reaction. Totally mm -hmm. cool. Okay. That's eight points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Has Cecilia taken her turn? Um, she technically has, yes, let me... That's fine. Oh, but she rolled pretty good. She rolled an 18. Yeah. Okay. okay. Turn my, uh, I have to find my Marion note. Uh, what was the damage for Marion? 10? Uh... 8. 8, okay. Um, he looks like he's getting struck by lightning every time this happens, right? That's what's essentially happening. No, no, no. Uh, he's basic legend with wind. Wind. Okay. He's looking very unsteady. Lorelai is going to leap from her pedestal but and spread her wings as she descends on you in full harpy form and extends her claws towards you, Marin. Oh, does a 10 hit you? <laughs> no. Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> Uh, oh she swoops God. down and misses you, um, but on her way by, she's going to try and hit you with the, uh, weapon that she holds in her hand, which is basically a club. <laughs> that was even worse. Uh, she misses. Oh, shit. So, as she okay. kind of dives down, um, she... She's dazed from 
your attack, and also she wasn't expecting kind of this, like, storm that you've concocted. Um, so as she dives, the wind from your storm kind of catches her wings a little weird, and as she goes to strike you, she's blown a little off course and misses. Uh, she lands directly uh, in the dirt, basically behind you, but off the platform. Okay. Uh, she's very, like, puffed up, like, ruffled, and she's angry. Yeah, I imagine. Cal is going to keep singing in order to keep Peter in his trance. Well, I'm unconscious. I don't know if that's... Yeah. I don't think Cal really knows that. He's just been told to sing, so he's singing. I'm just laying there. Yeah. Cool. Uh, and he ends his turn. Which means we're back at Marin. Um, folks, I will say it's ten, so it's up to you. Would you like me to conclude the session, or would you like to keep going for a little while longer? I'm good to keep going a little while longer. I, I would only extend everybody... it to, like, ten thirty. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Okay. You good, Nat? Yep, that's fine by me. Alrighty. So, Marin, go. Um... Fuck me. <laughs> Maybe later. Oh. <laughs> um. Oh, damn it. Fuck me. I I really don't have anything concentration on that. Um Nix and Peter are down, right? Yep. Yep. So is the boy if that is anything to you. It is, but Mary I, it's yeah, it's not I like I have any healings. Priorities. Uh, I know, I know. It wouldn't help um, anyway. I thought I want Wand of Magic Missile and um. Fuck, there's two hags up now, aren't there? Yep. Oh my god! There's a weaker one, and then there's the one that's, uh, cocooned. Um... I don't think a D&D game has ever made me this stressed out in 12 um, Yeah, right? I'm pulling out my Wand of Magic Missiles and expending four of my charges on Okay. It has five, doesn't it? I only have four left. Oh, I know, I know. I just I mean... seven. Oh, okay. Alrighty. So that's four missiles, right? Where are they going? That's four missiles. They're hitting the uh, main hag. Okay, so not the one that has just been revived? No. Alrighty. Make your damage rolls. Um...
Okay. Well, those were good rolls. Uh, so that's ten points of damage, or a force damage. Oh, I'm okay. sorry. Uh, fourteen. Okay. Because it's one d four plus one. All right. And then I am turning, hitting another at Lorelei for my bonus action. Uh, another storm. lightning bolt? Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, that is 22 to hit. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's four. Uh, that's 13 points of lightning damage, too. Okay. Uh, this bolt of lightning comes out of your storm and strikes her, and she shrieks and recoils as you watch as most of the feather's body fall out of her, and she looks a bit like a sickly chicken. Um... Um, and then I'm turning to... Calliope and shouting again. Okay. I thought that this wasn't what you I thought that you were better than this. And that's it. And I'm not moving. Okay. Oh. Yes. Okay. Jez, yes, your turn. Yes, that's me. Um, Jez, from where they are, cast, I forgot what it's called. It is called, uh, Moonbeam. Moonbeam? And, yeah. And oh, a familiar spell, Peter. <laughs> uh, yes, Moonbeam. <sighs> it's uh, what just... Well, it's what tormented Peter until he got charmed. <laughs> oh, well. Who are you casting it on? Um, I'm casting it on... <sighs> Marion. Okay, uh, you're also going to get Cecilia in that, just to let you know, because he is within five feet of her, and it's a five-foot uh, cylinder. Yeah. Hmm. All right. You know what? I'm gonna take that chance. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna fine. take that chance since it appears that Theta has made no move on her body. It's fine. Homie obviously doesn't want it that badly. <laughs> um. <It's... laughs> has not been saying this church yet, but uh -oh. go off, I oh. guess. <laughs> Do what you're doing. Do what you're doing. <laughs> um, We're getting her asses handed to us. Just go for it. I know. If we can even get like one down at this point, it's helpful. Uh, 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 because... Yeah. It's... It, oh, on. shit. I don't know that I have to do anything right now. I think it might be something... Because it says, when a creature... Uh, enters for the first time or starts its turn there, it makes a constitution save. Okay. So I don't know that I have to do anything unless... Um, I mean, technically it's entering it for the first time, correct? Yes. So... Um, um also, yeah. Lorelai yeah. ended her turn right next to me, didn't she? She did. She has to make a strength save. Okay, give me a sec. That was a nat one. 
All right. Well, that doesn't save. Do your damage. Oh my god. Six. Six? And... Oh my god, a six and a five. All right. Uh, as she gets so struck by lightning, you blow her back. A force uh, damage. Or a uh, bludgeoning. Against... And she flies backwards from you and smacks into the wall. Um, and you watch as she lets out one last scream before it's abruptly cut off by the impact. And make a which, make a perception check real quick. Not 20. <laughs> you immediately realize that the second um, she hits the wall and her body goes limp, uh, Calliope's song cuts off. Jazz, roll your damage for Marion and Cecilia. Uh, oh wait, I have to make, have to make saves, right? Yeah, uh, constitution saving throw. That's right, for okay. each of them. Well, Marion rolled a four, so it's not gonna save, no matter Absolutely what his modifier not. is. And Cecilia rolled a seven, so... You know? Not great rolls for these kids this time around. That's alright. Uh, two, D, ten... That's a d12. There we go. That's alright. It's uh, only three points of damage for both of them. Did I pick up the right dice? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I did. Okay. Okay. How much damage? <laughs> only three points. Oh, okay. Yeah. Even Cecilia's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Um, it's okay. It's not a, it's not a heavy hitting spell. Unfortunately. Well, it would have been nice if I could have rolled something like a 10 or a 9. You know, something that wasn't a 1 and a 2. <sighs> That's alright, though. You're good. Um... Just double checking to make sure it's not... Uh, oh, wait a second. Marion has a thing. Let me double check. Okay. We're good. Three points of damage to them. Marion is not looking good, Iber. Yeah. Even so from this small uh, point of damage. It seems that the the imagery of the flames around uh, causes him to kind of uh, almost panic. This is the first time you've seen his demeanor kind of shift from completely neutral with that smile on it to just sheer panic. Um, he still has the half of the smile painted on his face, but underneath where it broke off is just wood. Um, and he doesn't, like, move or anything like that, and this doesn't effectively do anything, but he does, uh, turn and kind of take Cecilia in his arms. So whereas he was just standing in front of her before, now he's, like, holding. Nothing really changed inherently because the distance between them was non-existent before, anyway. Is that the end of Jess's turn? Yep, Peter! Cool. Make a death saving throw! Huh. Cool. <sighs> New fucking dice. Getting tired of these fucking dice. <laughs> You got this. You got this. I have faith in you, Detroit. Six. Nope. I <sighs> fucking sorry. I'm sorry. So sorry. I don't mean to get angry. No, no, no. You're good. 
it's the frustrating situation. Um, I literally I haven't been able to do anything for six, t like what, five turns now? Yeah. Mark a, um... Yeah, yeah. And Nyx is gonna do the same on his turn. I also rolled a six, so Nyx is gonna take a death save. Failure. Okay. Um, with that, it is the hag's turn. Uh, the original hag's turn. The smaller one. The more powerful one. She seems to... kind of take in her surroundings, kind of reevaluate the battlefield moment. Before she lands on you, Mary, with uh, your magic missiles last time, and she kind of cackles. She goes, you stupid, stupid people. <sighs> you defend and fight for the very land that has made me this powerful. You're useless. You, you had your chance to run. You had your chance to give up and just die peacefully on your own terms, but no. You choose to die at our hands. And, well, I can't say I'm remorseful about it. After all, I... Your friend was so good. I can only imagine what the rest of you will taste like. And... She's going to cast... Inflict Wounds on... Marin. Whoops. Somehow managed to tilt that every time. Does a 14 hit your armor class? Yes, it does. Oh, God. You take 15 points of necrotic damage. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, the hag needs to make... Well, you took damage, that breaks your concentration, correct? Um, I need to roll for concentration. Alright, roll. I rolled a nat 20. <laughs> Alrighty, you keep your concentration, which means the hag makes a strength saving throw. That's cocked. God damn it. Uh, that's a 20, not a natural, but she saves. Is the uh, other. Well, technically, the other hag got added at the end of that lineup, so. She's going to walk up to you, Jez, stride towards you, and just straight up smack ya. Okay. Whoops, does the 12 hit your armor class? No. Okay. You raise, uh... You you raise your staff at the same time the hag uh, takes the swing at you, and kind of lock eyes with her for a second, and you see kind of a cold, 
fire burning behind her gaze as she, like, pushes against your uh, block and can't quite get her hand past it. Mm -hmm. And she's going to make her second attempt. Oh, no, that was even worse. That was... <laughs> that was an eight. So she's now pushing against your staff with both hands, uh, but cannot seem to uh, attack you. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be her the extent of her turn. Um, I'm going to quickly burn through the other turns real quick. Marion holds Cecilia close to his chest. Um, and then picks her up and runs uh, behind the hag towards the other side of the arena as far away as he can from the party. Um, I don't believe he can get all the way there in his... I'm trying to find his speed. Uh, yeah, no, he only gets 30 feet away from everyone who... Um, and he's holding Cecilia in his hands. Lorelai is dead, which means Calliope is the only one left. And he, you hear his song get cut short, Marin, and anyone who at this point would notice. And you see him kind of teeter before he looks down and you just hear him shout, Marin? And we're gonna end the session there. Uh... Thank you everyone for coming. Thank you to my party <laughs> for playing. Uh, we will not be streaming next week as it is finals for, I think, three of us. If not all of us. Uh, so, us. yeah, so there will be no stream next week, but afterwards, uh, we will conclude, hopefully conclude, this final battle that our players have been locked in now for two sessions, and uh, I appreciate everyone for staying a little extra longer tonight, so we will see you in two weeks for the finale of this fight. Until then, have a good night. Mm-hmm. <laughs>